Hey everybody, it's Jackie from Motherwise, and I want to talk to you today about the state of food affairs in our nation, in the United States, and what you can do about it. So we all know that that we're having supply issues, according to the government, and uh, you may have noticed that the grocery store, that some of the shelves, the spots are bare again, and um, the food prices have gone way up. Um, what I normally spend $50 on, I just spent $100 on. So, um, things are, prices are definitely going up, and it's becoming harder to feed your family. Occasionally, I like to go and pick up some breakfast and lunch and for work because that's in my plan to do that. And I have decided that that's not working for me. It costs way too much. I can pick up um, a breakfast meal and a salad and it costs me nearly $20. A good 15 anyway. Um, and I just don't want to spend that anymore. The prices are just getting higher and higher and higher, and it's just getting harder to feed your family. So, what can you do about it? Well, what we can do is uh, cook at home buy your groceries when they're on sale and try to make as as few shopping trips as possible so my suggestion is to make a meal plan to write a list of the things that you don't already have in your cupboard in your cabinets in your freezer and to go to the store and buy those things. Um, you need to allow for snacks each day. For dessert, I like to do dessert once a week. And then we eat on it for the rest of the week. And once it's done, it's done. And nobody gets any more for the week. Now is the time to really get serious about your food budget to get serious about cooking home-cooked food and making sure that your family is well fed. The first thing you do is start by shopping in your own home for the food that you already have because that's the cheapest food is the food you already own. You don't have to spend any more money for that food. So make a plan for everything that you've got. If you've got a bag of sun-dried tomatoes that's just sitting in the back of the cabinet, then go ahead and select that item and find a meal, find a recipe, whatever it might be, um, and center it around that item so that you can use it instead of losing it. Instead of having to throw it away because you've got sun-dried tomatoes and you don't know what to do with them. So, go through your cabinets and sort out meals. Gather your items together and so when you get ready to have that meal, it's all, it's all together. I would love to help you with this. Um, I have a $7 get dinner on the table challenge that I would love for you to come and join me in. I'd love to be able to help you. I know a lot of people don't know how, and I didn't know how either. I was a single mother of three children, and I just found myself not getting dinner on the table in a, an appropriate amount of time. We were eating dinner late. Uh, we ate a lot of pasta, and I just didn't feel like I was doing a very good job. So I read some books, and I got some information, 
and I start making a meal plan. And it's really not hard. It does require a little bit of time, but it will save you a lot of money, a lot of money. And if if your food budget is keeping you from going uh, on a vacation, even on a weekend getaway, um, if it's keeping you from buying that car you so desperately need or moving to a, a better place, a better home, then maybe you should think about it. Because the food budget is a very large part of your household expenses that can be controlled. Not much else can be controlled. Your, your mortgage payment or your rent probably can't be controlled. Your gas, the gas prices, you can't control that. You can't control how much gas you use, how, you know, how many trips to the grocery store you make. But, um, there's just a lot of things that are outside of our control, except our food budget. You can shop at, uh, at some of the smaller stores that only carry a limited number of items. And you can buy generic items instead of the name brands you can buy fresh from the farmer these things can help you manage your food budget and i would like to, to teach you how my name is jackie crawford from motherwise.com and remember dinners at six thank you